evaluate integration of c sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 whole square into z minus 2 dz where c is the circle the first one mod z is equal to 3 second one mod z is equal to 1 by 2 third one is mod z is equal to 3 by 2 ok now solution now solution is the first one we consider 1 upon z minus 1 whole square and into z minus 2 take this part by using partial fraction now consider 1 upon now consider first 1 upon z minus 1 whole square and z minus 2 and this is into partial fraction resolve into partial fraction now 1 upon z minus 1 whole square into z minus 2 and this is a, using partial fraction a upon z minus 1 plus b upon z minus 1 whole square plus c upon z minus 2 and therefore 1 is equal to now cross multiply both side denominators cancel 1 is equal to a into z minus 1 into z minus 2 plus b into z minus 2 plus c into z minus 1 whole square ok now put find a b c value now put z is equal to first 1 now therefore 1 is equal to put z is equal to 1 1 is equal to b into minus 1 and therefore b is equal to minus 1 next put z is equal to 2 put z is equal to 2 therefore 1 is equal to c into 1 or c is equal to 1 so next is equating on both side equating the coefficient of okay equating the both side coefficient of z square on both side taking both side so in this z square is this c z square and a z square the left hand side is no z square means 0 that means 0 is equal to a plus c or a is equal to minus c therefore a is equal to c value is 1 this is minus 1 ok and f of z now this part is a f of z now f of z is equal to sin pi z square plus cos pi z square ok now, now therefore i is equal to means this part i is equal to integration of c is a sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 whole square into z minus 2 dz is equal to a well is a 1 means minus sin integration of c f of z by z minus 1 ok and b is also minus 1 integration c f of z by z minus 1 whole square c well is a plus 1 integration of c f of sorry this is dz and dz f of z by z minus 2 dz ok now therefore i is equal to i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 call this is equation number 1 ok you say this is equation number 1 so i1 means first term i2 is the second term i3 is the third term now go to the case 1 case 1 case 2 case 3 take case 1 you say case 1 mod z is equal to 3 ok mod z is equal to 3 and z is equal to a is equal to 1 this is also a is equal to 1 z is equal to a is equal to 2 so 1 1 2 means 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 are both are inside the circle ok circle is like this this is the radius 3 and 1 and 2 1 and 2 these are inside the radius radius is 3 ok now both are 1 and 2 both lies within C within the circle 
hence by using Cauchy's integral formula okay hence using Cauchy's integral is a formula formula is integration c f of z by z minus a with respect to z is equal to 2 pi i into f of a so using this formula coach is integral formula so i1 i2 i3 take one by one first i1 i1 is equal to this is f of z z minus a is equal to is 2 pi i so minus sign is there minus is it 2 pi i f of a f of a means 1 okay and this is equal to 2 pi i means z is equal to 1 f of this is a f of z this is z is equal to 1 means take z is equal to 1 2 pi i sin pi plus cos pi this is equal to sorry minus sign minus 2 pi i into sine 0 is a 0 sine 180 is a 0 0 minus 1 cos 0 is a 1 cos 180 is a 1 means 2 pi i second i2 second term same using coach's formula i2 is equal to uh, this is a minus sign 2 pi i into f of and this is a 1 upon z minus 1 whole square is there means using generalized coaches integral formula the second term is using generalized coaches integral formula is f dash of 1 but f dash of z is a and this is a f of z now differentiate this one f dash of z sin pi is a cos pi z square and cos integrate uh, differentiate minus sine pi z square and z square z, z square is differentiate you get 2z 2 pi z sorry 2 pi z now i2 is equal to minus 2 pi i into f dash f1 means 2 pi z is equal to 1 and cos pi minus sine pi sine 0 is 0 sine 180 is 0 and this is cos 180 is a minus sign minus minus plus is a 4 pi square i next i3 this third one same using coaches integral formula i3 is equal to 2 pi i and f of a a means 2 sorry f of a a is a 2 means 2 pi i into sin 4 pi plus cos 4 pi and this is equal to 2 pi i into 0 plus 1 or 2 pi i okay now from 2 sorry from 1 now i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 2 pi i plus 4 pi square i plus 2 pi i or it is a 4 pi i plus 4 pi square i the case 1 is over now take case 2 case 2 is a mod z is equal to 1 by 2 now points are z is equal to a is equal to 1 is 1 and second one is 2 both are both lie outside the circle okay outside this radius is 1 by 2 and these points are 1 into the radius is half 1 into is outside the circle outside the circle means i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 all three are zero now case 3 case 3 is a mod z is equal to 3 by 2 or it is 3 by 2 means 1.5 and z is equal to a is equal to 1 is 1 second one is 2 now a is equal to 1 this one is inside the circle and 2 is outside the circle means i3 is a 0 so direct i3 is a 0 second third term 
and find i1 and i2 i1 and i2 using Cauchy's integral formula this is inside the circle i1 and i2 i1 is equal to 2 pi i into f of 1 so 2 pi i into same already proved and i2 is equal to 2 pi i into f dash of 1 already proved this is 4 pi square i now therefore i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 2 pi i plus 4 pi square i plus 0 and this is equal to 2 pi i into 1 plus 2 pi i now this is required solution